Hello everyone, this is John again. I'm in my BZ4X. It's a limited all-wheel drive. That's the 2023. I'm in Minnesota. It's four o'clock, 30 degrees. That's the start of winter. Just enough here to be able to show you how the heat pump works. Uh, what I'm gonna do is on my tablet here, I'm gonna pull up data a live feed from uh, the vehicle itself using ODB connection. And let's just get started here. I've got the heater set at 70 degrees, the blower's on low, and it's aimed at my feet and the windshield. I'll turn on the recording on my tablet here, make sure that's going. And I'm gonna open up the car scanner app. This is going to allow me to connect to the vehicle. Uh, got the profile set up for BZ4X Solterra Lexus RZ. And what's going to happen here as soon as it connects, it'll allow me to look at live data. The parameter I have set up that we'll have showing on the chart is the HV EV battery power. That'll show the draw. It's the consumption of the heat pump since I'm not using anything else at all this is literally just the draw from that fairly steady here a lot of up and down but the range is uh, going between 2.65 kilowatts and about 1.4 so somewhere right in the middle here roughly about 2.1 for a draw at 70 degrees from the heat pump. Uh, the point of this is, is I'm going to turn it down to 65 in a moment. That's where I normally keep it. Uh, you'll see a drop there, and by not consuming as much electricity, you'll be able to get greater range in the winter. That's why you get so much more range in the summer, because if you don't even have anything running, no AC, no heater, you get much better range. All right, so I turned that down. You can immediately see a drop on the graph. Uh, well, that'll settle down here, but it'll be definitely lower than it was at 70 degrees. And as this finishes up here, I'll be able to bring up a summary. And you can see the difference here. So the median right here is about, eh, about 1.1 kilowatts. So definitely lower an obvious difference when you go to 65 degrees that's pretty much enough here to get a little scientific a little bit beyond the anecdotal there we go okay so oops so what i want to do is go back here and disconnect go into my data recording bring up that value and on the chart it generates very very obvious what happened here is uh, the upper part was at 70 degrees the lower part was at 65 so it's very very clear that if you uh, put greater demand on your heat pump it's going to draw more from the battery and reduce your range in the winter thank you for your time